So Rick, we're here in sunny Christchurch, New Zealand. How's the team found the experience so far? Good. Having the uh, extra day in preparation is getting over the travel, albeit it's only you know three hours or whatnot, but it's just it takes most of the day and having that extra day to uh, settle in and prepare has been, uh, been good for the players. And it's a good chance for them to work on that bond as well. Yeah, absolutely. They travel well, the boys, so you know, I've never got any issues in regards to their you know, them handling the travel, enjoying the travel. Uh, they enjoy one another's company and, um, uh, you know, they have, it's good seeing them laugh and enjoy one another's company. Two wins from two now. What's, exp what's impressed you the most so far in the first two games? Probably our discipline, I think, and there was uh, times in both games that we had to show some uh, a little bit of metal, um, especially last week when the Tigers scored two quick tries and came back to 14-12. So, um, you know, we showed some... Uh, showed some strength in our defence, I thought, and um, instead of panicking, we uh, just consolidated and, and we moved forward from there and, and, and went on and won the game quite well. So that's, for me as a coach, that's, that's important. Uh, Elliot's back this week. He's a big inclusion in the team. What does he bring to the side this week? Uh, experience, obviously, um, and he's our captain. The boys all love playing with Elliot. Um, it gives me an opportunity to to give Zach some uh, time on the bench and um, he'll come on at an important part of the game and, and then continue on his form that he's had over the last two weeks. Seb Chris was ruled out this week with concussion but Hopper's back in the centres and Nick's back on the wing. Same size round, same back line as round one. Does that help with the defensive mindset as well? Oh look, you know, I think as a unit on the edges um, we've all got the mindset of what we need to do from our process point of view with defence. Um, and that's where the off-season comes in handy, where you create those rhythms and processes in your defence and attack, and having the, a large squad who um, did a lot of work over the off-season in working those those processes um, gives you confidence, and Hopper will fit back in very well, and Nicky, you know, he's an NRL player, so um, unfortunate for, Nick, uh, for Sebi, but uh, great for Nick, he's back in the NRL. A big milestone for the club this weekend with Hudson Young playing his 100th Raiders game. He's really a character that bleeds green. Oh, he's, he's a passionate rugby league person and even more of a passionate uh, Raider. I, I love it how he's, uh, he's green and he's just so, um, he's so what you want in regards to or in terms of a, a Raider player. Um, he's pas passionate, emotional, makes things personal. Um, he's very much team first um, and he, he works hard. He's... You know, of our values of um, around the club and, and being a Raider, um, you know, Hudson lives it, not just on the field, not just a preparation like at, at training, but uh, day to day. You know, he's a, uh, he's a great player to coach. Does it give the side extra motivation um, to do it for Hudson? Well, it should. We've spoken about it this morning, you know, and it should. Uh, you, you do want to enjoy moments such as, you know, Hudson's 100th and, and make it special for him. And, uh, that's the responsibility of the others. We know Hudson will do his job, we've got to do our job for him. And lastly, the Warriors, they've yet to win a game, so they'll be a pretty desperate side. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, they'll be desperate. They'll, they, uh, um, they won't want to lose three in a row, and, um, but that doesn't mean they've got to be more desperate. That doesn't mean they have to be more desperate to us. It's, that's, that's a choice for us. So, um, again, we've, we've prepared well uh, after the travel, so um, time will tell.